all that positivity around you, it goes a long way. <laughs> hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you don't know who i am i am aisha so you guys i really want to apologize i haven't uploaded like in a while and i am so sorry honestly i just had to be away from some video for a while youtube to be precise so um in today's video we'll be talking about how to grow up in 2022 you guys shouldn't forget to watch my other video that is things to leave behind in 2021 so now the first thing is to love yourself honestly without understanding who you are you can't like take this long step into growing up in 2022 and it's 2022 you really want to be a better version of yourself like try to understand who you are know your weaknesses um know your strengths know what you're capable of know your talent know the bad habits you really want to change and that would be like the first thing in growing up to honestly it's not easy for you you want to be a better you you want to have better friends you want to understand yourself know yourself love yourself that is the beginning of it all so the next is to um improve your lifestyle like improving your lifestyle has there are, like a lot of things there and you you should know what you want to improve in your lifestyle from try to stay hydrated try to stay in a clean environment try to clean your room your workplace and even your phone honestly like having a clean environment helps you think mentally helps you better physically i don't know it just it just has this feeling to eat and it really helps honestly try to plan your day ahead like try journaling i feel like journaling can also help you understand yourself and it helps boost your memory and it helps you achieve your goals and talking about goals you guys should like try to set long term and short term goals it's going to help you trying to achieve things i don't know so um just try Try journaling it helps you achieve your goals it helps inspire creativity like just try to, is to start a healthy diet i feel like this goes hand in hand with um improving your lifestyle like starting a healthy diet it's try to, try not to skip your meals and try to stay away from your from a screen when eating and try to eat slowly to prevent indigestion is to get active try starting a spot like try a new spot try yoga and just see how it helps you for me it like try it helps relax your mind and your body because it goes a long way like keeping you fit keeping your mind fit keeping your mind healthy and like try going out with friends and families honestly it helps it build your relationship with your friends and your family you're trying to grow up you you shouldn't like keep people away from you you need those people around you to like correct you i don't know just try to have positive people around you not people that fill your mind with negativity not people that always make you sad whenever you're with them but people that are always going to give you that positive energy that you need in your life honestly it's 2022 you know what i'm not going to say this but go and um try to watch my other video um things to leave behind in 2022 honestly i you see things there i said something about try to stay away from negative friends and the positive uh, going to give you positivity in your life you don't really need all that negative energy you are trying to grow up you're trying to be better you you need positive energy around you need positive vibes for keeping that all that positivity around you it goes a long way so next is try having a skincare routine that works best for your skin honestly i've seen this a lot of times like you see somebody using a cream or maybe a moisture um a moisturizer or a cleanser or if or a soap or a facial soap i've seen that and it works best for that person and then you now all of a sudden just think okay this person is looking good what is the person using and the person tells you it works for that person and you go and get that same product and it just doesn't work for you instead it even makes your skin worse because that person have a different skin type and you also have a different skin type don't just like have that mentality that whatever this person is using it will work for me too mm -mm. Mm -mm. it just doesn't work like that so do not forget to add sunscreen to your um to your skincare routine your daytime skincare routine i mean oh, oh, don't say it's eyeshadow i told you to use sunscreen in the night so i think 
didn't say that. <laughs> Adding sunscreen, um, sunscreen to your daytime routine actually it really helps. It helps prevent all that sun rays, all that sun burns in your skin, and it protects your skin. Honestly, it gives your skin that protective layer it needs. I don't know. Don't forget to moisturize. Moisturize before putting your sunscreen. Don't go and put sunscreen before putting moisturizer out. So next, this is nature and be thankful. <sighs> Honestly, embracing nature is like one thing almost everybody has forgotten about now. And everybody is always on their phones. Everybody is always on the screen. Everybody just wants to see what's happening in the world. But then everybody is forgetting about what is actually really around them everybody just wants to be nosy about other people's lives and honestly it is very very unhealthy it, look you can be very stressed from that you can be um, you can get very angry because of that because you need something and this person has it and you can't get it so it like it like increases your stress level you become envious you become you hate that person or whatever because this person have what you can't have and honestly it's not healthy it's really very unhealthy so like try to embrace nature go out there look what's going on like go hiking i don't know just feel nature listen to the birds sing in the morning listen to the wind at least just look at the trees like just do whatever you can to embrace nature it's very healthy it helps you it helps you feel better emotionally and helps reduce your stress level your anger levels and your hatred levels honestly it's true it also helps to improve your sleep try this honestly you know they say it takes 21 days to break a habit and 21 days to like um to start a new habit try it honestly and give me the feedback i'll be waiting patiently in the comment section to know what you guys think about this so you guys the last but not the least is um take a break honestly we all need that nothing is easy honestly it's really stressful but don't let that stress overwhelm you don't let whatever is going on in your life to overwhelm you you just need to take a break maybe try staying away from people or just be with people that give you that positivity and people that always push you to be a better version of yourself honestly it's we all need that it's like it's like a vital thing in our lives just take a break even if it's every sunday you just need to reset hit that reset button honestly we all need that I, I keep saying this we all need to take a break nothing is going to get easy in life it doesn't get easier honestly i won't lie to you guys it's it doesn't get easier honestly it doesn't because we are growing and we have more responsibilities on us if we let that stress to like get on us or like get on our nerves <laughs> it won't be easy honestly so i'm um, gaining new knowledge i feel like i should have said this before taking a break you should like try to gain a new knowledge you're trying to be a better you so like gaining new knowledge that is going to help you financially whatever just try to gain new knowledge try to read a book try to read books try to take classes try to learn things probably from youtube if you don't have money to pay for some things you want to learn you can try checking youtube videos youtube is actually like one of the, the second the second largest search engine yeah it's the second largest search engine so like going to youtube watching videos like maybe networking or programming you really want to learn those things you can actually learn them on the internet if you don't have money to pay for somebody to help you with it conclusion do not forget to love yourself don't compare yourself with others always be thankful focus more on your health your goals and your happiness honestly that's what really matters so you guys if you've gotten to this part of the video do not forget to hit the subscribe button and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and share like if you feel like people need if you know of somebody that needs to see this video please do not forget to share this to them thank you so much guys thank you so much i love you guys so much